We coffee, are coffee with Tim and Ron. Are you I'm doing sorry. the announcement? Dude, I just got so excited. Yes, we, we came live. Live from New York City. No, this is not New York City. It's oh. Wayne City. Oh my gosh, I can't. Why did I ever get into this? They twisted my arm. Ted, help me. We are live here. Cars and coffee. It's a featurette that was created by Ryan. That's Ryan right there. Ryan, let me see if I can point it was that Tim's right. It's Tim's idea, though. No, it was his. That wasn't my idea. And this is an auction featurette that's a part of Cars and Coffee. I didn't make up auction. Okay, features. we had people. Thirteen went on. Eleven went off. Or three went off. That must have bored them really quick. Hey, Ted. Okay, we're we're losing viewers as we're saying hi. We started off with thirteen, and now it dropped. Now it's to four. Wait a minute. Something's not right. Something's messing. Something's not right. <clears throat> Unless they got the wrong show. Hold on, Mark. We were at 13 and all of a sudden it dropped to four. Now we're now we're bumping back up. Maybe they're getting maybe they're reboost they're rebooting. Good day. It's a Thursday. Go back up to nine. Get the thumbs up. It's baby. hot and humid. Get those but we are up. here with cars and coffee and the auction to feature at to where we auction off or Actually, like, I, yes, I'm growing my beard back again. We're trying it again. My son says I should grow a beard. He says I should do a J.K. Simmons. It's I'm supposed to grow a big beard and shave my head. I don't know about that though. Okay, let's. Uh, I don't know about that exactly. Should put my gloves on though. We got a big. We got a big show. Big show. I can't read all this. You're gonna have to help me with this because I can't read all these. These guys are all chiming in. Oh, Jeff, yo, Jeff. Not from the darn pool. No, oh, not from the darn pool. I don't know what that. What about, this thing, I got to I gotta figure out how to. <laughs> yes, I remember you, Rob. <laughs> yeah. That's a living nightmare. I remember you very well. Super Dave, I am drinking a very dark espresso. It's a French, that's a French roast, actually. Very dark with my AFX cup here. Trying to re, re uh, do this angle too with the with the camera, so less of me and more of the cars. Nobody wants to see my face. So uh, great pictures from the water park on Facebook. Okay, thank you. Great. We're not talking about water park, Ted. We're doing other things today. This is slot car auctionette, so it's not uh, family day or anything like that. So you can forget with chiming in on the uh, family pictures, etc. <laughs> But this is our auction feature at. Where is the team feeling on Brian being told no more cook? Don't have a clue. You have to answer these questions because I can't. I don't have time. I gotta get. I got so much to, to go through. We've got so much to catch up on. We got so much to do. So much to deal with. Um, but we welcome everybody. We got 16 watching now and need six more thumbs up. They always talk about thumbs up. Got my head, my hair. My son wants me to grow the beard and shave my bald head. But a lot of things have been happening since yesterday. We've been swamped this week. We have been swamped. First of all, the electrical electric went out Monday and Tuesday. And that got everything backed up at the house and the shed while they were up in the Kalahari with the uh, enjoying the water resort. I was down here working and sweating. And uh, we're just trying to get caught up. Yesterday was we were swamped, so we had to push everything back. And so we're doing the auction featurette uh, this afternoon at one. A lot of things have happened in the meantime. Let's get, let's as James Murray would say, and thank goodness he's not on. Let's get, let's get on with the party. Let's see Brian the Millennial. It's Ryan the Brian. What? Okay. Why am I wearing gloves? Because I don't get, I don't want to get the cars dirty. There, let me see everybody their questions. First, if I don't wear gloves, and Stacy complains about my dirty hands, which are usually very clean, so I decide to wear gloves, and then I wear the gloves because. Um, my buddy sent them to me, and uh, a pack of white gloves, and that way it keeps my oily, greasy hands off of the these premier cars. But we got other things we're looking at right now. Let me uh, take these gloves back off. <laughs> I don't know how they talked me into this, doing this show. I have no interest in this. You guys know me. I got this one, James Murray. And James, don't even start with the let's get the party going. I've got a lot I have to get through, okay? All right. So let's, uh, I'll take these off for a minute, then I'll put them back on. I welcome everybody, though. It's all, it's all nice seeing you while I'm still here. 
I am uh, enjoying everybody's company and uh, all this transpiring. First and foremost, though, I have to big. I have to put a big. Uh, if you like the Gulardi show with these pictures that I'm going to be showing. First of all, I have to put a big thank you out for my lunch today. My lunch was sponsored by Mandy. Mandy was such a, she sent me, this is my, I took a picture of it because it was so good. I had to eat, I had to eat uh, lunch just before uh, the show came on because I don't like eating in front of the, in front of people, you know, like my brother does. What? Question? What happened? And we, my Mandy sent me this. She sent a bocadilla. I call this a bocadilla because when I lived in Spain in 82, I love bocadillas. And this one, she she made this for me and gave it to Ryan to bring to me. <laughs> Did me love slot cars, you know. Anyway, she sent this. I had to take a picture of it to show you guys what I just had for lunch. This is Mandy's bocadilla. It's a sandwich she made, and it's got all kinds of goodies, salami and pickles and cheese. And it was a yum yum. And look at that bread. It was awesome. But I want to thank Mandy for the sandwich. Ryan yeah, brought it in. Yeah, I get good bread like that. I have yeah. a keto bread, and that big fluffy thing was so delicious. It's like a, it's like a gourmet sandwich. It's like a baguette. It was awesome. He eats that keto stuff and everything, but he's never going to look like me when I, he's 70. Okay. Can <laughs> I teach you all there, too? I got all my teeth. But look at that sandwich. Thank you, Mandy. She must not be on yet. So I just want a big... Uh, where could I hang that so uh, I could, yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> oh, too much fun. Oh. Too much fun. All right. I'm going to sip my French roast, double glazed espresso. Coffee on my AFX cup. And let's see, a couple of other announcements, quick announcements. This is a, this is a quickie, guys, so catch on. Um, <clears throat> these are now for sale. I just put them live. I'll be doing a post in a little bit. But pick them up right now. They're selling fast. Ryan, just put these up. These are the trucks, guys. These are the trucks. Can you see them pretty good? And they just went up for sale. And we're going to actually tonight be racing them. It's, I think tonight's going to be a primary truck racing night because everybody had so much fun with them last Thursday night racing that we're going to do it again. It's going to be all fun, but just a fun night. It's not going to be a serious. It's never serious. Okay, this is the well, when snake Tim and of mine. Race, we get pretty crazy, though. There we go. There goes Rob and Anthony. He's got to start chiming in. I would, Rob, you might as well just leave again. Okay, here we got the snake and mongoose. That's the truck. I'm trying to show you the inside picture. And they're up for sale now. And I'm telling you now, from what I understand, get them while they're hot because they are flying off the shelf. The minute he started putting them up, they've been selling. So this is the other one. And we're going to be racing them tonight. I don't know. They still won't let me race much because that is not true. They, it's, my seven victories in a row. They just uh, how much are these? I got a question. How much? You're gonna start reading these comments because I can't do all. I can't. I can't do everything while I'm still here at the at the, at the store. Ever. <laughs> how much are these? I don't know. I gotta look. They're well, then how can people be? How can C three seven one? Type it in, and it's the price is on the I website. Type what in? I've got a stuff so piled the customers up. Customers can type in SC. It's it's on the website. Adam, it's on the website. Just look it up yourself. Good gravy. Do something besides sitting there and growing. Unbelievable. Jeez. Well, I get so. I mean, I don't know. Man. But how can you tell me that they're up for sale and they're flying off the shelf? When you don't even know the price. I'm literally in the middle of something. You're uh, going to have to wait or look it up yourself. <laughs> all right. So Gosh. get check those up or look them up. We're going to race them tonight. These are hot. These are hot. All right. This show is, this show is hot. We have 23 to this show. Get some thumbs up, too. They keep telling me to get thumbs up. I don't know why. I, if you don't like the show, don't. If you don't like it, why thumbs up? They're right? Forty-five ninety-nine. Good gravy. Forty-five ninety-nine. That's a good price, actually, for the trucks. I might like. I might race this one if they let me. 
They just don't let me race anymore. And then they like me to do the commentary. I can't do everything at once. That's right. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> you can't match your skin. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. And we got some funny things came up recently, too. Before we get into the easy up, ease up, James Murray. I know you're saying, come on, get on with the party. But we've had some funny things happen the last couple of weeks. And this fan base, you've all been very courteous and very, very nice. And, 44, and, sorry. 44, they're going down an hour. I have one hour for money. 44.99? Yeah. 44.99. 44.99. Mandy, Mandy, I showed them what you sent me, Mandy. Thank you so much, Mandy, of the Bocadillo. I even took a picture to show the fan base. It was delicious. It was delicious, Mandy. Thank you so much. It reminded me of being in Spain in 82 and these Bocadillos I used to eat all the time. <sighs> Here goes Rob with his, just his bad humor. Just, I'm not even going to comment on his comments anymore. They, I'll let them just float and then sink. But that's the sandwich, Mandy, and I printed a copy to hang in the background. It was delicious. In fact, Ryan even, he was disappointed. He didn't get one that looked like that. It was that keto bread. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so uh, on with the show, or on with the live stream that they forced me into. They've, they, they've you know, forced me into this, this thing. And uh... Okay, there goes Ted again, off to the family thing. Ted, would you just... <sighs> okay, so anyway... Let's move on with uh, what I have. You guys have been a good fan base. I got, remember when I got way back to this picture? Remember that? You guys called me the Kolchak. I didn't, and I didn't start this. I think it was Mark, Mark Buck started it. The Kolchak of uh, Slot Car Investigation. Remember that? And so I've been doing investigating. Because you know with me and slot cars, I don't know slot cars. I don't buy slot cars. You know that I don't like slot cars. All you know is that I can drop what oh i can drive slot cars i could okay now mandy's gonna thank ted and then they're gonna have a conversation nobody's listening to the to the stream supposed to be more? <sighs> the, the dells now everybody's going to the dells <laughs> but i can drive slot cars right don that's your clue all right so anyway they they sent this they, they started this kick thing because I, I wore my hat I, I like this nice little sun hat I don't, Rod got me into hats, and so I've been wearing bowler hats and pot boil, pot boil hats and this hat and so other words. And then um, U of M got clever. This is this is getting out of hand, though, guys. You're gonna have to just you're gonna have to stop this. But U of M then got clever, Ted, and he sent this. <laughs> Oh, this was bad. That this, one's spot on. This is spot on. Yeah, this is the... Oh, oh, and then we have voicemail now. So, guys, we are overwhelmed. We're a three-man operation. We're going to be a two-man when I leave, eventually. And uh, we use voicemail now because we just don't have time to answer calls, do all this shipping, handling, and everything else on the planet. So, just letting you know. But anyway, they did this. This is I'm, Now I'm the slot car slayer. <laughs> or stalker, I call it stalker. Slot car stalker. That was pretty funny. I got a kick out of that one. <laughs> okay, Robert, take a hike, all right? Go pack Sam. Okay, Adam's going to leave a voicemail. Thanks a lot, Adam. Okay, awesome, Ted. Yeah, this was awesome. Okay. And then, then you guys don't stop. So every time I mention something, and I mention myself as cold check, I'm going to put this up right in front of me, Okay. <laughs> In fact, this is kind of unique. This reminds me of an image. I'm going to say from the 70s. A music group from the 70s. One of my favorites. And this image was similar to it. And I'm not... The only clue I would give would... I would just call it the Preservation Society. But that's... Uh, yeah, I want an autographed copy. Oh, you want an autographed copy of the sandwich? Do you want it from Mandy? Or do you want me to sign that and get you a print? I, I can do that. But then, then, but then you guys took it to another level. Check this one out. This one's a killer. This one, Mark said, this is too much. <laughs> this is Kolchak giving information. We're taking a tape from you know who. Check out that superimposed image. I mean, it's too much. 
Oh, uh, Roman Shit, look at where it has Roman Shit. But, oh, so I should put this like this. <laughs> oh, this is too much. I'm dying out here, guys. You guys got me. Oh, my gosh. Raise your career. I can't do a career move. <laughs> that one is better. Check out, check out that one. That one is better. Oh my gosh, I'm dying on these. This was, this was the clincher. Oh, that was the clincher. Okay. Okay, let's move on. We're gonna move on now. We had our laughs. Okay, We're, we've had our laughs, and uh, <laughs> I know. Uh, I still, I can look at these over and over like a tick. TikTok. I can look at these over and over again. It's just, oh my goodness. All right. A couple of things with the auction featurette, just giving you some clarity. <laughs> I could have used lots of laughs. Well, I had the other one. Yeah, I did. I did this one, but I like the boat. No, that's actually the same one. Okay, I got that. I got another one hanging over there, I thought. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the best. Okay. A couple of things with the auction featurette, the information I get is either on the line or I use a complete color guide to the Aurora AFX motor modeling. We do not carry this. We do not sell this at ProTickerToys.com. But you can get it at Amazon. I'm not sure how many are left there, but you can get these. this one at Amazon. This is the book that I look for all the, the body numbers and the pictures of the cars themselves and find a little bit of information from them. And then I do my... You know, I do my, you know what, I do my, uh, my Colt Shack slot car investigation. Yes, that's, okay, it's, the, it's, it, yes, de deviate. Yeah, the King, Village Green Preservation Society, then, I think it was the next one, Preservation Acts 1 and 2, that there's that image of Ray with that crazy hat on. And that's what, that, that just, that struck me when I saw that. I went, that looks familiar. Anyway, I, what did I do with this? That's it. Just look for me, right? Yes. Thanks, DBA. I appreciate that. At least some people have some still some musical class left. Okay. So this is available on Amazon. I use this and the internet, and then uh, you know for my own investigation, my cold check investigation. But this is the one with the history of the Aurora slot cars. And guys, guess what? ProTickerToys.com. We sold out. We sold these out. You guys have been great purchasing this. And it's not, this just does have the history of Aurora slot cars and the photographs in them are terrific. So for those that are newbies on the show today and that are chiming in, chiming means tuning in, is it's got some really cool old time pictures, photographs, information. The one I really like the most is, and I came across this, but we sold out, this is my research copy that I use. Oh, come on. Of course, just some great shots of what people did in the way back when, when slot cars were slot cars. That's a cool picture. But the one I'm looking for, the one picture that struck, just the artwork that's in it. And, of course, the image that I'm looking for at the moment is not popping up. But there is some, some good history behind there, too. Lots of information, referencing. Robert, I'm not even going to read. I don't have time for it. Go smoke a cigarette or something. Go outside and mow your yard. Other people have enjoyed this and are like watching it, and they want the information that I'm that I'm providing. So there you go. You can just pack sand. Mm -hmm. Where is that one picture? I'm going to show it. I'm going to take the time to show it. And those that don't have any patience, all, right. all the negativity. I'm putting those users in timeout. Yes, put all the negativity, the real negativities, in timeout. We start with Robert. Where is that image? Ooh, I like that picture too, the cartoons. I used to work for Archie Comics in the 70s. So it's just kind of neat to see some of these old styles there. Yes, Moronic Pass, yes. I'm gonna, 
I came across this image and of course it's not popping up. I'm gonna have to go through each page to find it. Unbelievable. There it is. This I thought was really, that's a fascinating illustration there. The commutators, keep those clean. If you tear your car down the engine, those commutators, keep them clean. Kind of scratch them a little bit with some sandpaper, just clean them up a little bit and press them back down. You'd be surprised some action you're gonna get after that. These are just, that's just a really cool picture. Anyway, we sold these out. And now I had to reorder. I got a, a box of them, a, not a crate, a box of them coming down, coming up from Cincinnati. A special order. I'm going to get a box. No, I don't know slot cars, Ted. I don't know slot cars. I don't buy slot cars. I don't like slot cars. But I can drive slot cars. I can drive them. Yeah, they, Super Dave, they, I think you're going to get another one, too. Uh, Ted mentioned something about a Tyco catalog. I don't know anything about catalogs, but, yeah, keep that. Did you check that? Are you going to monitor that with um, Super Dave just gave some info? Um, just, they, they sent me a link. We bought the one. We're going to buy the one Ted just sent us. Yeah. Send a link to Bri uh, Ryan on those suggestions for the catalogs, per se. But I've got a box coming, and guess what? Next Thursday or next Wednesday, if I have the auction auctionette, you know, unless something doesn't happen for me, a meteorite doesn't drop out of the sky and flatten me somewhere, because um, Brian's gonna be on vacation all next week, so it's gonna be Ryan and I all next week. But I'm gonna have an unboxing of the box of Greenbergs that are that are the new box of Greenbergs that are coming. This has flown off the shelf, and it's all because of you guys. This is a great book. But um, four more days, Tim. What's four more days, James Murray? Four more. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, today's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. My birthday's Monday. Thanks, James. Thanks a lot, James Murray. Okay. So these are the two books. This is the one that's selling great. And so if you, you can still buy one now, you're gonna get it because the order's coming either in today or tomorrow. The box, and I'll have it unwrapped and then uh, but i'll do a fun unboxing too to show you the books that are all these that are coming in but that it's it's, it's nice that they're selling because we're we're showing them and they just got some great information and great picks got some customers that came in welcome okay let's get to the meat of the show not not to play off of that uh-oh looks like i got some some uh coffee coming You guys don't have to send that stuff. James Murray sent something too, and still haven't gotten it. James, or not James Murray, James Reeves, still haven't gotten it. I'm gonna put on these gloves here. I know we're gonna get the party started, and that way I won't have to hear it from Stacy about my hands for some reason thinking they're dirty. Let's get to the show itself. Don't forget those trucks, and we'll come back to those. And also, as we go through these cars, below on your screen somewhere, as Ryan was telling me, there's a description in YouTube, or a, what is it called, a description button? And you can hit that link, right? You hit that link, and it will show an image of the car that we're talking about. If I don't get a clear, you know, a clear image. We're live streaming, that's why I'm, oh, I'm not well, talking okay. to myself or talking to the wall. <laughs> that's okay. So the first car we're going to pull out here is the L&M. We discussed this. This is a resale. How do we get this one back? It's kind of unique. This one Stacy desperately wanted. And so I'm going to represent this. And I'm going to try to get in close with this. This is the Lola T260 Can-Am. It's up for sale again. How did we get, how did this get re... I can't remember. Oh, that's right. The customer said knew that another customer wanted it, so he said, "Put this one back up for sale." And he took another one. He went and purchased another one. Hot, hot, hot air. <laughs> 
Robert's just about ready to be deleted. Okay, check this out. This is the L&M, the Can-Am 1972 to 1978. And someone else had had an interest in it, and so we're making it available again because the other person ended up picking another one. This is a 1767 body. It has the 1767 body. It's white, red, black with the L&M right there. We talked about this a little bit, that while these may seem common, they have certain parts and pieces that are broken off and that are missing. And that's where we found this has added decals, but all the pipes are still there, which some of them are missing. And here's the, in this bar right here, right across there. Let's see right there. Sometimes it's broken or missing, and this is all intact. So all of this, the windshield, the helmet, the bar, the piping along here, and even the spoiler here are all intact. Back here, it's all intact, and the front looks great. Now, there are a few extra decals that have been added. I can't remember what this actually is auctioned off for eventually. But this is the L&M. And, and of course, Stacy's not, I don't see him on. So and he, I think he was the one that was interested in this. But this will be auctioned off tonight, actually. Yes, Moronic, that's true. The wings get broken off on those easily. That's my understanding. But this is in really good shape. Really good shape. And there's some cool decals here that are still on that are here, up in here, that were added. And the picture of it's identical to the one in the book. It's on page, if anybody's got the beers catalog and they're reviewing it again, it's on page 98. If you have any questions about it, you wanna see a picture about it, you can hit the link in descriptions on your YouTube and check it, uh, another close up of it that Brian took some pictures of. Let's do a little uh, sound test. my fingers are right in the way. I can't read the comments and do this at the same time, so you guys are on your own for sometimes. That's a, this thing is nice. Oh, I have, I have a package to open up too, so if you need an intermission for something, just let me know. I'll open up my package. Sometimes you might need an intermission. I'm just giving you the head. <laughs> you see, you try to be nice to I'm know. trying to just take care of these guys in their comments because I can't do all this at once. Any other questions on the L&M? Any thoughts, concerns? It'll be up for auction tonight. I think they're all being silent because um, they know this is going to go hot and they want to be quiet. Stacy hasn't even come on yet, so he's probably wondering what's going on. That is a nice looker. All right. Now let's move on to some more intriguing I think fascinating um, and cars that um, I'm sure you guys are going to be enthralled with because as James Murray says, let's keep the party going. So for number two car that the Kolchak of slot car investigation found out about. <laughs> oh, you guys are killing me. Mark, what do you need? What? Looking for anything? Oh, okay. I, just, I thought you were trying to look for something. Oh, Ken Fish retracted. All right, here we go. This one was fascinating because when I first looked at it, I said, this is brutal. Okay, this is, and it's on page 119. 119. And this is the Lola T 330, 1976 to 1980. The cockpit is surrounded, check that out, is surrounded in chrome along with the exhaust pipe. You can see the cockpit, check that chrome got, that thing wrapping around there is chrome. And then the pipe here. Now what's, yes, you've probably noticed it right away. This one's here, this one is missing. 
I'm gonna bring a close up. That one is missing. I don't know if you can repair that, if that could be fixed, if you can add back onto that. And let me know if the camera is clear enough or if this is too close or not, you know, if it's too far away or if it goes blurry. But that pipe part is missing. I noticed online a lot of my investigation that took place, a lot of the investigation that took place <laughs> is that some of the pipes are broken and pieces were broken. So but some of them are in good shape. Some of them had two pipes. Now, the pricing, I'll go right to that too. I've seen everything from $54 to over $100 for this particular Lola 7 with the two pipes. Check the, the, the mirrors are still in contact. They're still there and they're not broken. This looks gorgeous, okay? Let me see what I, and also I did some hunting on this. These are called uh, paper, paper stickers, paper stickers. All the decals are paper stickers. And they're, it's missing the number seven on the nose on this one. You can see that right there. A little right in there. It'd be the number seven would be on that sticker. But these stickers are still here and they're called paper stickers. Look at the side stickers. They're still gorgeous. This is a sweet looking car. I agree, Dave. But you came up. Uh, right as I was thinking the same thing as I was reviewing this one earlier even with the one pipe missing the airfoil is still here the helmet the chrome both these mirrors are still on and there this the sticker here and this is in great condition back here I'm gonna try to show you that and I was seeing prices with worse damage from $54 to $100 or more. One actually was $100. It was 99 something plus shipping. Oh yeah, this is stuff I used to see down in Indy with my dad. Or, or something similar. I can't say the exact car because I don't know slot cars. But check out the exhaust system there. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't fiddle with this one. This one I don't think I took off the body itself the body number maybe i did very carefully but the body number is 1731 so it is the lola go back under here it is the g plus do i have that right can you see the there you go the g plus engine does spin uh-oh see what you guys made me do i just lost I just lost the sticker decal. It just came off. What can I do to get that to secure itself? I don't want to. That just slipped off. Age, right? What do you? What do I? What do you suggest I do to get this to go back on? Lick it. <laughs> Any suggestions, gentlemen? I don't want to have a. Actually, it just kind of sticks on there, and then at times when you bump it, it drops. There's the G Plus body. Look, it's clean, too. Clean. Lots of light. Yeah, okay, okay, Ken. Look at that. That is a sweet looker. And there's the decal. You can see that little right there, the area where the decal would be. Let's see if we can... Uh, See if I can do this with a little bit of yeeks. Hold, you need to hold it like that. Okay, I will. You guys like to hear it. Huh? Wearing my favorite green. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, man, you made such a you made such a delicious sandwich. I had I had to put the the old green one on checked out that even the even the spots there are nice and clean see what else did i have it's rating is a four which is common but it's unique now that's a rating four in the beers catalog which remember the beers catalog is 22 years old um rarity is changing constantly it's white and blue with the number seven but the seven itself is missing but the pricing was a wide range of prices on this as far as 54 to 64 to 70. We do voicemail now, gentlemen. We can screen our calls. 
So anyway, that's uh, that's gonna be up for auction tonight. And Ted, you, Ted, you got to don't forget, give me the list of how I should auction these off. I just think this this was more unique the more I found out about this. Yeah. Um, when I was doing some of my investigation. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's see. That slipped off, Robert. Just, just cool it, Robert. I tell you, you're one negative person. You complain about everything. You, you go outside and be a blue sky, and you what go, "There's no clouds." <laughs> if it was cloudy day, you come out and go, "You can't see the sun." There you go. Check this out. Look at that. I like that spoiler too, and the back end, everything intact. Wide range of pricing. There we go. We're gonna put this one back. No questions. Anybody, anybody want to give me any other insight or info to me? Since I don't know slot cars, I appreciate it. I like those decals there. Next. Okay, DV8. We'll go next. If you say next, I'm going to do it, DV8. Put that back. Gently. I don't want to lose the decal. Next one. Oh, this is another premier. I thought these were just like, eh, okay cars until I started digging into them, until I started really checking them out. <laughs> so, ah, oh. yeah. They had earplugs, Adam. It was simple as that. Okay, here we go. Now, let's... This one is on page one. I've got to get this. Let me open this up so it makes it easier for me to... Down at the to get it, this one's a this one's a sharp one. I thought I was each one of these cars. The more you you do your investigation, you look at the more interesting they become historically. And um, yeah, no custom cars this week. That's beauties last week. Wow, uh, yeah. I really like those. Page one sixteen. Check out this one. Oh yeah, he's terrible. Check this out. Check that back canvas indentation yep, right there. But anyway, this is the Datsun Baja pickup. The Datsun Baja pickup. Okay. Going to talk about that in a minute, James Murray. No, the 211 was not on this one. And it's not on it in the book. Also, check that, page 116. I'll get to that in a second. This is a one... Okay, could be, Ted. I'm with you on that. This is a 1745 body. The body is 1745-001. Non-magna traction. I checked that. I double checked it. This is a double magnet non-magna traction. It's yellow black. Okay, I'm trying to everything is intact. This I almost want to say it's in excellent condition, but I don't know slot cars, so I don't know what you would say. It's good, very good, or whatever. But this is intact. I love the the designs on the hood. And then the indentations of the canvas. You see the little indentations right here in the corner here, the stretch marks for the canvas that stretches over the back end. And I found out with some research that they can come with the 211 number on the side or without. So it's they come with it or without. This seemingly comes without it. There's no residue or anything left over on the side panel. It's clear. You don't see any abrasion here and here, okay? Page 116. Gradients, well, what? guys, I'm just... <laughs> oh. It came, yeah, exactly. In the book, it does say 100, book page 116. It comes with the 211 or without. Look at that front end. It's clean as, it's almost, it's nice. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. Just keep looking and Ryan no, will help I'm you out. No, I'm just looking there. Wandering good. Look at that color of that one. That is sharp looking. Then the dots in the back. Okay, let's go underneath now. There you go. Got to turn that this way so you can see the name of the AFX. There you go. A little rust there. I put a little oil right the, right the. And then I'm going to take this part here. Okay, and then we're going to do a little road test. 
right off the bat. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Now I can, I could remove this if you're that in pain and show you the inside, but I don't think there's a necessity to show the inside of the body. It does have the metal guide pin here and the tinted windows, beautiful tinted windows on all sides. They're all there. This is a nice one. It's called the Datsun Baja pickup, 1974 to 1982. I won't tell you the pricing on it. It varies. I'm, it's amazing what some of these prices are. Might need some wheels, can't tell. But you're looking anywhere 70 to 120, and that's what I was finding different pricing, depending on that number, too. And this was not taken off. This I don't think it ever had it. That will be the last car, Tim. Okay, I'll put that as the last one. And then I'm waiting for DV8 to say, move on. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll keep showing this for the moment. <laughs> Good looking truck. Yeah, it is, Robert. Nice. That was very considerate, Robert. And every, nice, positive statement to make. Next. <laughs> TV is next. All right, I'm going to make that swap right now while I'm in the groove on it. And I'll put that there. Now I'll move on to the next one. Again, this whole uh, show is sponsored by Mandy's Bocadillo that she made me for lunch. It was delicious. And also Kolchak, the slot car investigator with him giving information to the owner <laughs> getting questions from the owner oh boy oh rod you're late to the game i'll give you the info at the end rod you're sorry rod can't help you all right, let's move on to the next one. This is a, this is a nice one. This, the, all these are fascinating. Little things I found out. Of course, I know some of you don't care, but this is the McLaren. Let me get this uh, set up here. It's on page. Uh, Ted, he tests me. Ted quizzes me because he knows slot cars. I don't. This is page one twenty. One twenty, and it's the McLaren. You ready to check out? Yeah, whenever anybody's ready. Right here. He's on it. This okay. is page 120, the McLaren That's F1. The McLaren F1. There's a lot of little neat things happening no, with this piece. I'm, and I'm, I want you guys to chime in and tell so me and see where I'm YouTube off. Channel where we live stream. This is a one piece molded. It's one piece molded with a single wing. Stuff, with a, so I should say yeah. separate yeah, wing. Did you want that, honey? It has two, it has two mirrors. Scott Balloon. I shouldn't have said it. There's a button. Where'd you get this from? To mute it. Where's the mute? Oh, good question. That's all right. It'll, it should click off anyway. Oh, that's a good question. I gotta get that camp fixed. This is a McLaren. Two mirrors and a blower over the, over the motor. So the two mirrors and the blower are over the motor. The motor's underneath the McLaren F1. All right. What I like about it is it's got the tinted green um, shield. That's a tinted. Check out the color of that. That is just a beautiful. I'm going to get a little closer if I can. That's a beautiful uh, tinted screen. That's the one thing that struck me. I like that windscreen there. It's like a light green, lime green. Look at that. Okay, so move on. The body, it's it's page 120. The body is a 1733, 1733-001. It's the rarity. It's common, pretty common. Look at this. Back's clean. Everything's, in, everything's intact. It's four, which is common. Red, white. Number 11. Okay, number 11. Anything else? Perfect. G perfect. plus this chassis. 2134. Look at that. I got that. Up. Let me swing it around. G plus chassis. Oh, you. I'm just. There you go. G plus chassis. Pretty clean, too, under there. A little spin here. The tires 
I'll be honest, like a shot. Like just a bit <laughs> You're gonna need big and some new gel. Was it gel claws? I don't know. Sure. What Thank you. And then the big ones, like really. U of M. Big. Yeah, You're, right. You're, U of M. Hey, I've researched so this. Just hold on. Else, the body is all there. Everything is all there. This McLaren. And the research that I did with it, yes, you're going to find that out. Originally, would have 13 stickers, okay? 13. Ah, uh, yeah, deviated. It could be not a blower, just an air intake. I've read where that said it was called a blower, but I, yes, you're right. Oh, uh, I, I used the wrong turn, but turn. That had 13 stickers. There'd be one here, one here, side, side, and here, the side here, the side here. So this is missing. It would have had 13 stickers. This is missing 10. I counted them each one in each spot as I checked, as I checked online also some of the other cars that would have missing stickers but what i'm finding out with our cars or what we're finding here is while they may be missing a sticker here and there most of these are in great shape they're not missing the mirrors or the windshields or some of the parts of the spoiler they're not cracked this wing here i saw this one online a lot and this particular front wing here was cracked or broken so the bodies themselves, we've been very fortunate, are in great shape. Ready to check out? Yes. Yeah. Very, oh, you're okay. we've been very fortunate. The bodies and all the parts are there, except for that one with the pipe missing. But this one just happens to missing 10 decals. So if you, want, if you got decals, you know where you can get them, boy. You can spot on with that. And that is 425. So we normally have 13 decals. Repo stickers? Can you get repo I think stickers I for have that? A quarter in here. I have a bunch of change. Yeah. There's the eleven still there. Get rid of some of this. <clears throat> Probably pull everything out. Oh, I do have a quarter. <laughs> there you go. Thank We're you. not trying, Robert. We did. There's the T squared team is already up and running. We have sponsors that are pleased with our our driving and our product. So, uh, Robert, you have been fired. You, it's not that we're trying. <laughs> you are good. You are done. <laughs> um, okay, thank you very right. much. <laughs> Ken Fish needs a team, but he, Team Young Fish is, is demise. It's over. Look at, I just, it's pretty new one. My favorite part, dog, Dan, I'm getting, I'm probably, I'm probably laboring a little bit on this TV8, but that green tint on that windshield makes it for me. Yeah, short as a breath, potassium. Well, if you want more potassium, proud, just check in with me. I get the, uh, the three processed, uh, uh, black strap molasses, the real McCoy stuff. Black strap molasses. Teaspoon, tablespoon a day in your coffee for a sweetener. But black strap molasses processed three times. You get the pure product. It has lots of potassium and iron and calcium. <laughs> That's what I get. <clears throat> anyway. Okay. TV, are we ready? Do I move on? I just, this is a really nice one. So this will be up for auction tonight also. Oh, the sound. You wanted to hear the engine sound. That's right. Oh, okay. Let's grab it by the wing. Look at these little nick on that. Oh, I never, yeah, I caught that. Just caught that. Little nick there. Little nick there. Okay, I got it. I know. Has no authority. Just don't. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. I got to get the sound, guys. I mean, I got to do it. <laughs> no authority. What do you mean, no authority? Uh-oh. Oh, no. This thing, it was working earlier. Ah! I hate it when I get a dud when it works fine, and then all of a sudden, why doesn't this uh, make it a noise? I think we just got a... Oh, shoot. Did my battery go dead? This might need more work than we thought. Oh, there you go. I don't we're, want it. we're back. 
I'm sorry. There, it, go, it runs. These are popular. These sell like but the bat, But the wheels are shot. The wheels are really... I tried to run it on the track last yes. night just to test it. They just look so sweet. And it, it goes like an inch and then it just spins. Sits there. I don't know if it was the track itself. Yeah, Clint, I fired, I fired Robert. <laughs> oh, well, business has been so good. And I've got so many sponsors now because I've become the cold check of um, slot car investigations. <laughs> I can't help it. I just get a kick out of this thing. It just weighs everything Preservation down. Society wanted it's to. It's good to have oh, it. Oh, too much. We never have enough change on it. Oh, yeah. Okay, anyway. Okay, thank you very much. Oh. It does. It does run, but these tires, you can see the tires. They oh, that's right. I give you a check. I mean, that one looks yes. like it's yep. burned out completely. Uh, right there, you see how blown out. And I mean, it's just like it's coarse sandpaper. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have potassium. Try bananas too if you want, but I drink the black. I use my black strap molasses. Did a potassium research on that. I have to. I got all my kids or my wife, they're all bicyclist fanatics and they take all this stuff, not steroids, but everything else. And I go, why don't you guys just go natural with everything? So I hunt down all the natural products that provide. <laughs> oh. So I'm healthier than all of them combined. That's okay. All right, deviate. All right. Don't 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 get on my case, deviate. I'm sorry. I'm gonna put that one there. I'm gonna put that one there. Yeah, 13 paper stickers and their ten are missing. Now I'll go to another one. This is another classic that I. People have an interesting taste in. Oh, you, oh, I gotta do a break here. You had something you wanted to share with the group here. I need to pull back for a second and uh, get this in. He has a a special treat coming up besides. Mandy's wonderful book of deal. We're going to take an intermission from Tim's featurette and we're going to show off. This came in the mail for Ryan. He's always wanted his very own special edition slot car. And sometimes people like uh, Ted, he sent, he uh, actually gave me a free car one time. Oh, let me show it. He, he got me this car, which is very cool. It's part of my very personal collection. So Ted sent me this one, which is really cool. You're getting it sorted out. So Ted sent me this one. Well, another customer has heard me on the live stream, so I'm opening it up. We'll see what he sent me. It's pretty exciting. <clears throat> now, okay, the first thing, look at, can you believe this? What? What'd I mean, I, I'm very thankful we got this package, but look at what it was packaged with, Tim. What? Oh, those are sweet peanuts. <laughs> I hate peanuts. I hate peanuts. Yeah, we are not. He probably trying to figure peanut. out how to get rid of them. That's. He, he probably thought it'd be a fun joke for you. That was good. Yeah, I gave it to the IV potassium. Does all that burn your system? Awesome, awesome. So let's see the very first car. I'm opening it up. It's my car, so I don't care. <clears throat> I'm not keeping it in this little. Oh my goodness, look at what this is. Well, that's pretty cool looking. That's beautiful, actually. It's an extraction. Wow. You gonna try it tonight? I'm I'm gonna let the people tell me if I should race this. Well what 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 why don't you what would you do if you don't? I'm gonna ask. All right, I might I would race this one, but this I next car. Comment. You don't read any comments over here. I can do all the work. I will read them when it's... I can't read them over here. Do you don't have it up? Kevin says run it, all right? I'm thinking about running it. Now, look at This is the Why real... Why This... Yes, it is trucks tonight, Rod. Now, this is the real one that I wanted. Wait, you don't say that I want it. You don't say that because it makes it the, the other one less... I told him that on the phone. Oh. Run it. You think this should be my new extraction car? This will start being the car I race when I'm racing extra. Yeah, Kevin's right. Why own them if you don't run them? 
not very PC. You're correct. That's why I wanted it, because I'm anti-PC. PC makes people weak. Oh, gosh. Yes, go. but they won't make the car anymore because of the rebel for flag. Correct. But a customer had a bunch of these and said, I've got enough. I'm going to send you one of them. Who sent them? Don't run the general lead. See, they're saying don't. Mandy says your sponsor will be there. And she says yes. <laughs> Mandy says run it. I guess he doesn't want you to wreck it. Isn't that neat? Hello, this is Toe Pika Toys. Ted says open. don't run well, it. Who said them, don't run Monday the general lead? Monday through Saturday. We are closed on Sunday. Well, why don't if you have why, why have it if you don't run it? What's the point of it? Or we're on the other it? line. Please leave a voicemail. If we That's don't like buying a beautiful you. painting and Please put it in the closet. Support that. It doesn't make any sense. This is neat, though. Why? Why? I mean, be fearful that the sun's going to deteriorate. Maybe the pigment or the or the the, the varnish. I mean, why buy a painting then if you're going to put it in the closet? Man, that's exciting. So what? They won't make anymore. That's the whole point of a, your life, your existence, is to run it, to enjoy it. They don't paint paintings anymore. One painting is painting's a painting. You're going to put it in the closet? Well, here's That's right, Rod. General Lee's are meant to run. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to run this car with this orange. Just there's not going to be this on the top. We're going to have a, a decal for it and then a decal pack and then the number on the side. So it's just going to be the car that looks just like this. Cool. We are going to run it just like this. So you'll have to get the decals. So run it and then retire it to the showcase. BVH says next. <laughs> even no, we've been doing it to every car we've been looking at. You better watch it, DVA. <laughs> this I'm so I'm very thankful run that the it. customer. James Murray, run it, run it, run it, run it, oh, run it. You know what we should do? A race. Tim and I. Tim gets the cop car, and I get my General Lee. That would be a good race. We'll try it right at the end of the evening. No, we should do that Thursday with Brian. I was just gonna say it was for <laughs> distractions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next week. Next week. That's right. You can run it. Doesn't mean you have to beat it. We'll race carefully. The cop car versus the general. Says, run them head to head next Thursday night. A Boom. big night. I'm gonna put that on the cover photo so everybody knows. Next Thursday it's, night. That's a perfect uh, combo. It, Ted said it's not like you don't have enough other cars to run. <laughs> <laughs> Agree, Kevin. So thank you very much uh, for sending these to me. I, 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 I really like these. I was hoping to get some, so now it's awesome that I have my very own Dukes of Hazard set. So that, that's very cool. And that was the intermission. Thank you very much for giving me the time, and thank you very much uh, there, there, Tim, for You're, giving me a second. I really... Take your time. Was, You're the boss. It's your show, Cars and Coffee. I was really excited. I mean, this is my first car that I got as a gift. And then this is my second and third. So that's very cool. I don't know what would be next. I, I don't really have any other cars on the on the horizon that I, I... Yes, very generous. That I was really interested in. Props to whoever sent them. It, um, Do the lights hmm. go on the cop car? No, no lights. This All is right. not a flamethrower. Props to whoever sent them. Adam, yes. Adam, they're very generous. You can learn from that. <laughs> He's, uh, do they work? They will work. If they don't work now, I'll tune them up to make sure they do work. Yeah, I'm going to tune mine because I know how to tune them now with the commutators. He's getting good. I can drive. I don't know, I don't know slot cars. I don't buy slot cars. I don't like slot cars, but I can drive slot cars. And he's good at it, too. He oh, might be boy. one of the best racers there is. Okay. Late to the live stream. Had to give the dog bath call, call calm him down. Call oh, him down. Give the dog a bath. PT customers. Hey, Ron, did Brian call you? Ron, did Brian call you? I gave him your number. It's just, he, we've been so slammed, he's getting ready to go on vacation. But we did get the chassis sent out to you, Ron. Yes, we did that, get that set out. Okay. That was great. Thank you very much.
We appreciate that. This has been awesome. Oh, do you need this? Don't you need this? No, I've been using this. Oh. I mean, I could, but I've been, I've been so used to using this. We're good. Let's see, Brian, you should buy a 12-pack of Coke tonight and pass them out to everyone but your dad to drink tonight. Well, that doesn't make any sense. That's typical, Adam. Tim, you let, they're not letting me race yet. They're now, sorry, Clint, they still just, they need their victories. They want some encouragement. They just don't want to compete with <laughs> What you. happened to Tim? <laughs> I have a new, a new interest now. <laughs> I get a kick out of this. This is too much. You guys did a... You guys were not done yet with the show, James Murray, so hang in there. <laughs> oh. Oh. And then this one. Those that are coming on board, check out that picture. Cold check. <laughs> Some information from the owner, right? Oh. Well, just a heads up. Next Thursday night... I will be at least racing Ryan and I one on one with the general and the police car. So we'll do something there. We will uh, we will deal with that when it when it happens. I might even it's too bad I didn't get the car the race car, the cop car. Okay, the next one's a, this one's a doozy. This one I, I, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything, guys. But the prices are just they're interesting. They're interesting, and I'm not gonna. And I don't have to see since I don't, I don't know slot cars. I don't buy slot cars. I don't like slot cars, but I can drive slot cars. I don't worry about the prices. I don't have to listen to all you guys yak and give opinions on prices, et cetera, et cetera. I just do the research. I just investigate. <laughs> uh, come to the baseball tournament after with Ryan. What? Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't. I, I are you kidding? I got to get away from this family. I can handle, hardly handle your husband. I guess it's enough to put someone to sake. But that sandwich, Mandy. Mandy made me a sandwich for lunch before the show, and this bocadillo. I took a picture of it because it was so good, looked so good. I took a picture of it, and I posted it here on the backdrop. That's check, check out that sandwich. It was delicious. Salami, cheese, pickles, the whole everything in that bocadillo. Okay, let's go to page 32. More information, the better, Tim. Prices. There are no prices on these cars. These are the auction cars. We're auctioning off tonight, so there's no price. I'm not sure what you're talking about as far as price. Page 32, this is a... Bringing up good food again. <laughs> yum, yum. It was good. It was delicious. Oh, next Thursday? Oh, okay, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see, Mandy. I can't promise... Okay, page 32. This The body is a 1375. And I nailed this one, Ted. Don't tell me it's something different because I nailed this one right to the core. <laughs> it's a Cobra GT. A Cobra GT. And this has not been custom painted, Ted. Not yet. The stripe has, but let's be specific. Now I need to eat. Here, hold on a minute. Let me get you a nice close-up. <laughs> <laughs> I got a close up for, for Kevin. Check that sandwich out, Kevin. That was from Mandy. She made that for me for lunch today, and Ryan had to bring it in while well, he brought his little keto sandwich in. This thing was delicious. I mean, it was awesome. So, what I did was I took some, uh, I had some chips, I had some Mate Mission corn chips, and I sprinkled olive oil over the, the, the corn chips. And then I take a little Swiss cheese pieces and put that over it. And I sprinkle a lot of oregano and then some turmeric, turmeric over that. And then I put an olive in each little spot that I stuck in the mic, melted it for 25 seconds. And it came out, you know, these chips with the olive oil and the oregano. Boy, it was yum, yum. I had that with the sandwich. It was like a, you know, instead of just having chips, just potato chips, I had nice chips with olive oil and oregano with my, this bocadillo. From Mandy. Okay, back to the car. It's not a restaurant. Do you have an email or? Uh, probably should go to the game. Oh. GT, Cobra GT, 1966 and 1972. Body, usually this comes with body and two stripes. In the picture, in the book, 
It's two stripes. Let me know and I will get the picture of the book if you want to see it. All right. If you do want to see it. This one, it looks like what the owner did is paint the whole custom paint the two black stripes as one big one. It's turquoise black has a rating. It's very common. These are very common, supposedly, back then, 22 years ago, with the other Cobra GTs, as far as the commonality of them, being it's turquoise and black. Now, the beauty of this, for those that are just getting into this stuff, is that, is this close enough? I'm trying to get a real good close-up is first of all the full what's called full glass that's called full glass that's in here that's wrapped around the vehicle full glass all right i don't know the other glass there oh it's the front i see the front is called a full glass i don't know what that help me out on that the headlights themselves are silver okay headlights are silver Okay, perfect. All right. That's, in there. That's an interesting idea, Eddie. If we can clean that track up and do a test run, maybe we might do that. That'd be kind of clever. Yeah, I'll try that out. Yeah, I'll, no, I'll mention that's that cool. um, to Ryan, Eddie. Okay, back to the lamps, sir. And so it has, these are silver, purposely. Yeah, I do too, Dave. I'm gonna, we're gonna do that. We're gonna check the old track and see if we can get it running this week or next week. And then the black stripe in between. Now, when I got on and started really, when I started really doing my you-know-what routine, <laughs> I, can't, I, I just have to do that. It's the Kolchak slot car investigation. It just fits for the show. Is that a lot of guys that customize their cars would take vehicles with two stripes and convert them into one stripe. It seems that a lot of the guys or gals, car enthusiasts, slot car enthusiasts, prefer a black stripe rather than two stripes. Tell me why, or explain that to me at that, maybe it was a time period or maybe it was, I don't know. I don't, either one's fine with me. The two thin stripes are nice. Let's see, are you all selling parts for Auto World slot cars? Yeah, we sell parts. Depends on what, I think it depends more on what the part that you're talking about. But anyway, so you guys can explain to me, but see the hood here, the indentations, it's all clean. This thing is clean as clean and solid. So tell me about that. I mean, what, what's the, do some of you customize your cars? Do you put a black stripe so thick? Or do you have car enthusiasts or friends that do that? But I noticed that online a lot because when I did the pricing online, I was surprised that the these cars, the average ran $85 for something like this, $85 to $116.99. And this was what they pre-owned. One of them was, it was pre-owned. Better eat Timbo, what the heck? Ugh. So it's pre-owned at anywhere from $85 to $116. You guys know prices, so this thing could run a few. I just have to, you have to decide whether you like the big, the, the thick stripe or the two thin ones. And you can tell it's custom, custom sprayed right there or painted. It's a pretty decent job, actually. Oh, I got my phone's going on at the same time. Let me know. Uh, skip trial, please. All right. Yeah. So, what do we have here, guys? Yeah, absolutely. Now let's run her. Oh yeah. Did you want? Well, let's run her. Did you want like the ten pack? I don't care if it has one stripe, two stripes, no stripes. That's true, Kevin. Me neither. That's what I, I just I find it intriguing that some people though have purposely put the thicker stripe on there. So it must be a preference some people have. Let's see. Oh, just one thing after another. Hello, this and is I cannot find a mute. 12 to 5, Monday to Saturday. 
That's his famous voice, Neil voice. That thing is right off the bat. Look at that right there. Look at that. Check that sound. That is a 1375 body. It does sound sweet. Oh, it's something else, fellas. I just, because I'm, you know, as I'm learning, because I don't know slot cars. I checked the two posts that the screws are on. Perfect condition. Excellent Hello, conditions. Robert Jones. Yeah. My address is 2208. And, and I, I got to block his comment. I'm leaving this message because um, you have to send me a uh, replacement starter track. Yep. And a hand controller. Yes. For the old scale electric um, race set that I purchased. And this is a guy with a, the starter track burned out. All right. Again, this Where is, is the. Uh, I can't find the mute button. I wonder if that would do it. Oh, There's so many things going on. Check that out, though. So, anyway, I checked the posts. The posts are in excellent condition. Thought that was interesting. They weren't split, broken, or cracked. And then this is the solid uh, rivets. A little rust there or something. But it doesn't affect the, the running of it. I put a little oil right there. Right there in that little spot. That was it. Thing ran great, though. Right off the bat. What do you think, guys? We're all right? Oh. There's got to be an easier way to do this. Live, but... I can't see if you're seeing anything. I looked at those and I don't see yet. I don't see them shaved or cut personally. I mean, I looked at them. I'm gonna, I can show you this really close. See if you can see it. But see the door frame right there? It all looks like it's a good, solid piece. It looks clean. It looks like a nice car. Yeah, it does, Dustin. I don't see, and the fronts are perfect. None of the cars that tonight with this batch I saw shaved or, or cut um, wheel wells. I hope I'm not going too fast sometimes. I don't mean to be rushing this. I'm just trying to look for that best angle. I could take this off and show you, but I did take it off. That's where I noticed the posts were good. Everything was clean on the inside, no problems. It just is a sleek design, though. This would be a fun one to soup up and... Uh, check the commutators and uh, yeah, and get the big tires on there and just see how this baby moves. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Awesome. Big tires in the back and the rear. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I should look at this way. Yeah, let, keep me, give me comments, fellas. I just need to know what you think and uh, experiences if you've had, because sometimes there, there are newbies on, like myself, that don't know slot cars that you could tell us little ideas and thoughts and yeah, previous guess, experiences yeah. that you've had with these types of cars. Okay, yeah, Kevin says it's a screamer cleaned up and tuned up. It's a screamer. That's a positive right there. Maybe that's why they're running so high in price right now on eBay. eBay, I check eBay, Amazon. There's another site, but you have to get a subscription to get into the site. It showed high prices for this particular car, which is probably a good track grip. Okay, yeah. But I was surprised that the range was 80, somewhere between 85 and 116. And and again, the black stripe varied. Some had them, some didn't. Some with different colors had them, some didn't. I like the back end too. It's a clean back end. Ooh, I already had I had one already. It will surprise you when tuned up. Ooh, hmm. Oh, maybe I should take it apart, tune it up, try my new understanding of tune-ups. Since I use the, uh, I use my <laughs> my Greenberg guide to. Uh, Did you want anything else? I, I should uh, save that page number. Doggone it! Why do I do this? <sighs> I got to get all the pages marked so I can go right to it without having to. But it has the commutators and the yeah, pictures and the springs and the. The gear, oh, there it is, there it is, I like this picture. It just, it reminds me of those old yep, illustrations we used to have in some of those magazines we used to get. It's just a cool, cool drawing. It's the way drawings were meant to be made, not computer generated. 
Look at that. That's art. There's the commutators there. Uh, all the things up in here. I try to wipe off the any oil or grease up on here. If I see it sitting here or here or here. And then that's where they most of them put the little oil drop right there. Kind of clean these up a little bit. Just wipe them off. Oh, yeah. And it gets us to sing. This thing just sings. <laughs> but I don't know it's lock cars. I don't like I, 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 I. All right, deviate. I'm, more, I'm ready, deviate. What do you got to tell me? Oh, you use a CRC QQD to clean them? Okay. No, this I didn't. I didn't use my olive oil on this. I didn't use my olive oil. Nope, this is just as it came, and I just kind of rubbed it like that. QD. When I cleaned it, I used to just use olive oil with the ear swab guys. <laughs> Next. Okay, thanks, DV8. Okay, guys, no questions about this one. This could be a hot one. This could be a hot one. Save your money on that one, that's for sure. Last but not least. Last but not least. First, my cup of uh, French roast out of my AFX coffee cup. I haven't heard from James Reeves yet. Tim, that is a $45 car. You must be looking at asking prices instead of sold price. Correct. Um, yes, I am looking at um, the asking prices. I have not seen the sold prices. The couple of subscription areas, you have to get a subscription to go in to see the sold price. And then the ones that they show to kind of prep you or I don't know, tease you is then they show a high price or a price for that. Correct. That was just a wide range of prices I saw. Um, that's why I was just kind of surprised by that, but I agree. That could be a $45 car or more. You must be looking at, yes, and I'm probably looking at asking prices. Some of those are eBay or uh, auction prices. And some of them, they also then include the uh, shipping. Yes, Rod, I'm doing very well at it too. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, Rod. <laughs> Oh, uh, Rod's the one that got me into hats. I don't know why. He started, Rod, actually, I'm going to blame everything. Rod got the whole thing started with that Popeye hat. But Dave, Super Dave, yes. But that's why I'm, I'm saying, if they're asking and somebody's going to pay half that, you're still up there in that range. All right, let's go to the last car. This is the last car of this uh, featurette, the auction featurette. And then I can get off, and you guys don't want me around anymore, then you can go back to your uh, whatever you were doing today. <laughs> got a couple of ads I'll always buy and th those that are just jumping on board or coming on board again um, welcome to uh, the auction feature ad this is where we take six cars on Thursday nights I should have brought this up earlier at the beginning for those that are brand new um, Thursday nights we have race night from 7 to 8 on ProTicketToys.com ProTicketToys on the YouTube but then uh, 6 to 7 one hour beforehand we auction off a collection of cars that my brother had purchases from collectors from auction houses from whatever areas or sites or sources that he then wants to get back out into the public he doesn't want to collect them hold on to them hoard them he wants to get them out into the public especially some of these unique cars that we have so our fan base here Ted and the whole slew of others um, help with uh, just information and what to do with that and then with the auction aspect though some of our fans don't like auctions right Robert that uh, it gives everybody from some fun to outbid each other, to bid and to get a hold of some of these cars, whether you're a newbie, a novice, or an enthusiast or a collector. But it's just an opportunity to, uh, to get a decent car to run and to have fun with, which everybody does, it seems. And so we're continuing with this particular program, with this particular uh, way of doing things till, till um, I'm gone. Yes, some very good cars in the Mega Load collection. And he has another collection, too, that we broke down. But, uh, yeah, he picked some good ones out, and I, I think they're fun to look at. For me, historically and artistically, they're fun to look at. Has Brian those pictures? What pictures are you talking about? Has Brian those pictures? You mean this picture? <laughs> cool. cool check. I'm sorry. This is too much. Mark Buck said this one. <laughs> Oh, oh, you think Protigger I've turned into a collector of slot cars? No, I'm not a collector of slot cars. How many slot more slot cars to go over 100? I don't know. Huh? I, 
I, I didn't know that question. Let's go to the last one. VVH's been waiting patiently. Here's the last one, page 98 and 99. 98's the name of it, 99's the picture of it. So all the cars together. All the, you guys are talking to each other because I don't know what you mean by all the, car, the cars together. This is the Porsche 510 K Can Am, 1973 and 1978. I tore this baby apart. Has he seen them? Seen what, guys? I have no idea. Don't know what pictures. I don't know. This is a uh, seven. I took this apart. Got the numbers off the bottom, the back end. This is a, 19, a 17 a 1786 non magna traction. Okay. Now this was curious too. This is a 1786 non magna traction body, but the wing here I found is a 1766-003 spoiler cross. It's called a spoiler cross, and it has the number of that separate from the body number. And you can see that in there. You just have to take my word that that's the number. Now, notice the back end. Everything is intact. Everything is intact in the back end. This has a 5 rating, which is interesting, meaning very common. Aha! we it's very common for the number of cars within this grouping 22 years ago but i'm beginning to see that the commonality of these compared to the other cars within this group created by beers 22 years ago doesn't mean so much as to the value of these cars and the value can be determined by the body itself and the parts that are still on the body. All right. So it's a red, it's a white, red, black, number six. That's the first thing you're going to notice. There's something that's not there of the number six. There is no number six. Question? I'm on a live stream. That's why I'm talking. You're fine. Why are you whispering? You can come back. You want to ask him? Do you have a question? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Brian, go ahead and. Hi. How are you? Hey, good. Good. My name's Elsa. I'm from Amy. I've downloaded. I do supplemental downloads of Brian and John's download on YouTube. Check out that right there. Mm. I'm going to show that number okay. six. Anyways, I've this has added decals. Got that added decals here on the side and added decals here on the side, which makes this fairly interesting. Yes, there is a tire missing, I'm gonna get right. I don't add anything onto this once we get them as we're getting them. And then if Brian wants to put a tire on there or somebody wants to tell us what tire to put out, we do that, do that for the auction. But right now we're not. Now, what's unique about this again, don't, don't rush, don't rush me, Jeff. <laughs> don't rush me, Jeff. I <laughs> I found that out because I was curious about something. All right, so just hang, hang tight. But yes, thank you, Jeff. Good point to bring up because I'm going to get to that. Okay, let me continue. Uh, the added decals and the condition. Check the bars here, the two bars here, the plate on the inside here, and the helmet, and then the the um, that little fake windshield that's right there. You can't see it, but it's a little doohickey right there. But let's swing around to the front, okay? The front, what's called an air dome, or actually an air dam, D-A-M. I did not know what they were talking about until I researched it a little bit more. Right. So I added a little bit of my skills, <laughs> okay? The skills, this part here is often broken, okay? Broken. And the removable, uh, I should say the rear spoiler is occasionally missing. The spoiler is occasionally missing. So this car itself with the body is really is, um, yeah, the front edge, this one is not. That's not broken. This is in great shape. The body here, under here, under there, and under there is in great shape. It's not broken. Look at that. It's beautiful. 
and then everything else going all the way back even to the spoiler here even to the spoiler back here is not broken let me swing it around to show you the back end of this so this does make this a very sweet very interesting car as far as this one yeah this is a nice one like the rest of them but this side and then the sides here now some of the stickers have been added there's some really clever little stickers right in here and over here that have been added with the Porsche, but that is just a beautiful, beautiful looking vehicle there. And again, it's selling an asking price. I, I can't find them, but they, they're sold. When you see them, they're sold, they, they, they're gone. But the asking price for just one of these similar to this, and that was with the spoiler broken. That's why I find, find or the, uh, I'm sorry, the air dam here in the front was, well, the one I found was 50 bucks plus $6 shipping, $49.99 plus $6 shipping. That was the asking price. And that was a 1915, uh, see, 1915 body number, which was of a less uh, rarity than this one, which is the 1786. Gosh, Ted, you're already rushing ahead. I can't do that in this at the same time. Gosh, you guys just never give me a break. Okay. While well, you guys are looking at this, well, uh, T260, the L and M, then the McLaren. Oh, uh, Robert, go hike. I tell you, you I, I would not want to have dinner with you. I tell you, you'd be the, just negative. Nah, just, ugh. McLaren. McLaren. The end. Having a conversation with him to be like talking to my daughter would say like talking to wallpaper okay peeling porsche 510k and then the cobra wait a minute you got too many cars here cobra gt and the datsun one two three four five six seven how do i have seven cars there there was a double there was like an extra chassis or something that was last week or two, yeah, that was two weeks ago. He's got the Lola 330, Lola T, the L, maybe he's, maybe the Lola, oh, uh, maybe the Lola T60 LM's one car. Lola T60, oh, okay. That makes it 60, I think. That makes it six. It was buffering, so I posted it. Pretty sure you can mount that on a newer chassis also. Oh, that's right, the chassis. I'm sorry, guys. Check out that chassis, AFX, baby. Look at that chassis. Look at that chassis and the sound. You want the sound. Now, of course, we want to bore Robert so he can go take a nap. Okay. I always want to hold on to the rear tires. Guys, there's got to be a, another way of... Wait, what's that say? Send one more. Need one more car, Timbo. I think I got them all. I'm going to line them all up and I'll check it out and I'll show you the final lineup for Thursday night. Six to seven, the race night, seven to eight. So I think we're racing all trucks. I think it's going to be just a smash up, bang up uh, truck racing night. I just like this one. This one's a nice one. You guys got some sweet, sweet opportunities on some really nice, classic, vintage, pre owned, okay? Pre-owned. That died on me, or did that just pre-owned slot cars? Ho slot cars. All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's see how he's. Let me set this in now, and see how he's uh, wanted me to do this. Sue. So, the five ten. So like the Cobra stays where it is. The Datsun goes at last. Okay. Then the McLaren. Where's the Lola 330? 260. Okay. I'm going to switch these out. Boy, if I ever had, if I ever, ever liked slot cars or wanted to buy slot cars, 
I sure have my little preferences, and I'd love to. One of these days, it'd be fun if I were getting extra cash, and if I liked slot cars, I'd like to bid against you guys just for fun. Each one of you, just each one, just outbid you by a dollar. Let's see. We want the general back. Great show. Thanks, Chad. Okay, let me get the... Uh, oh, shoot. I want to make sure I got that one right. Then this is the 510 red spoiler card. Okay, let's see if this is it. Let's see if we got this right. Ted likes to give me the lineup, which I don't mind at all. I don't mind at all. Okay, here we go, guys. New auction cars, and this is the lineup for tonight. I gotta remember, it's tonight is the auction, not tomorrow night, Thursday night. Here we go, there's the auction. Starting from here, there'll be the first one, the Lola here, the l and the next one, this one, Cobra, I'm not telling you, James. That way you won't. I don't want. You, I'm not telling you guys which are my favorites because some of you probably do the stupid auction and then and then send it to me. <laughs> and I don't like slot cars. I don't want a slot car. So, so I'm not telling you, James. <laughs> uh, you guys think you're gonna pull one over the old the old man, huh? The old seventy year old. Uh... <laughs> yeah, James. That's what he was gonna do. I bet. Okay, there we go. There's the Dotson that we were talking about. That's going to be auctioned last. This will be auctioned first. Then this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. And these have all been checked over, looked at, reviewed, and investigated. <laughs> oh, I can't. This picture is too much. Hey, if anybody wins an auction, if they... <laughs> <laughs> Brian would love that. If you win the auction, I, <laughs> uh, Ryan suggested this earlier. Anyway, I'll sign one of these pictures and send it to you. <laughs> paint my next painting, and you will be able to bid your heart's content. No, I gotta pay. I got a bunch of. I got a bills. I gotta pay, Rod. I've got. I've got to start that, but I got too much. What? The, <laughs> I don't want any of it. <laughs> Okay, we're not betting today, Cliff. You always do that. We're not betting today. Just, I'll see it tonight. We'll see it tonight. But I will sign this. Kolchak, I see Turbo Timbo, the Kolchak of investing car, slot car investigation. And I'll you get your own copy. Oh, my gosh. But this is it, okay? And don't forget, Jet, you guys seen enough of this? Because uh, Deviate's going to tell me next. Okay, Clint, it ain't doing six, seven, 70 bucks for my picture? All right. 70 bucks, I'll send you a signed uh, print. Put the two together. What do you mean, put the two together? What do you mean, put the two together, James? Don't forget the green bird. We have these. We have these, and I got another box coming up. Another box is being shipped up to me from Cincy, and we are going to have them fresh. We'll have an unboxing. I'll have them probably tomorrow. Be able to sell them out again. This book is just terrific. You guys can't. It's a historical book. This is something you want in your collectors for your, not for you yourself, but for your son, for your grandson, etc. What, what? Oh, you mean both of them? Put the two together? <laughs> I didn't do this, guys. You you were the ones that sent these. Yeah, somebody somebody needs to post this one to this one. <laughs> oh, this is too much. This is, that's his face. That's it. That's him in the morning, at, d d d during the day, and in the evening. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Oh, that's too much. Too much. This is too much. Preservation Society. One Acts one and two. Oh my gosh, love it. I do too. Thanks, James. I do. It's just it's too comical. And you guys are the ones that do this. I don't. I I want to get out of here. I don't even like. I don't even like slot cars. Uh, I want to get on that train. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And don't forget, also, just the last push on these trucks. They're up for sale now. 
the snake and mongoose and the uh the snake and mongoose the blue and the uh flame get a chance to grab these there or check the lines and again for the auction cars just get on the web and check the links and you can see a close-up of the cars themselves i think brian took some really good ryan took some really good photos of them and put them on the link below anything else before we before we uh, sign off okay that took care of that note that took care of that note anything else gentlemen i can take these off i think we did it i'm all full i want to have dinner tonight because of the sandwich yeah <laughs> we everybody's seen that look before watch the rolls off yeah. Oh, that's true. I, I I do. I checked the I checked your surrounding area. Thanks, gentlemen. I think that's it. We're gonna call it a day. I've got all of our ads done. I've got the the green book taken care of. We got the race night tonight. Got a lot of action happening with the auction from six to seven. The race night from seven to eight. It's gonna be all trucks tonight. I think. Correct. Yes. All trucks. It's gonna be a blast. It's gonna be. It's going to be, yeah, we better check the tracks and everything. Got that taken care of. Did a great job, though, I think. Enjoy the auction. Enjoy what you, uh... Thank you, James Murray. Thank you all. Thank you, Mandy. There's my bocadilla that she made for my lunch prior to the show. Appreciate everybody. Thumbs up. We got, a, got one more thumbs up than viewers. Thank you for the gentleman. And um, I will see you. The, I will see you this evening. If I can get this thing to work.